Growing up in the streets of Chicago, Lose Osama didn't grow up like the average person, with multiple robberies that almost costed him his life and one that actually costed his friend's life. With him hating his blood cousin and wanting to slide on him, we'll be going over his whole crazy come up that most people wouldn't have made it out. What the opposition, man? Well, I'm finish. I get let go Thursday and I'm in the field. Fuck the rap, man. That rap, man. They ain't no shit, man. Fuck that team. 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 Isaiah Dukes, aka Lil Zaya Sama, was born on June 13, 1997. He was born on the southwest side of Chicago from 63rd to 67th, which they call the bad side. Plus, they go by BSC or Cow's Clan or 6300 Gang, which is also a BD slash GD set. Lil Zay had no other choice but to join a gang coming up. It was the only thing he seen around him, and moving throughout the streets of Chicago, he knew he would need protection. Plus, his father was in and out of jail during his childhood, so the only one that was really there to raise him was his mother in the streets. With five other siblings, three boys and three girls, Lil Zay had to make ends meet early on in life, jumping off the porch at only around the age of 12, and started robbing around the age of 14 and specifically started robbing cameramen, but ended up robbing the wrong cameraman. And we'll get to the details of that after we talk about Dite, which was one of the first homies that Lose lost and was one of the reasons he jumped off the porch. December 28, 2011, Dante Malone, aka Dite, was one of the first members from BSC to lose their life from gun violence. His mother said the last time she saw him was around 4 p.m., but police found him with multiple gunshot wounds late that day near 65th and Mozart in Mogwet Park neighborhood. He was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. He was allegedly killed by 1140 his squad and 1017 face world, but only around six months later, on June 11, 2012, Lil would lose another close friend to gun violence, and this guy would die right in front of him. 20-year-old Devontae Flanoy, aka Tay Boogie from Rack City slash 6300, was shot to death in the alley in the Marquette neighborhood, and this all happened while Lil Zay was right there too. And plus, Tay Boogie even had a gun on him at the time of his death. Losing these two people early on in his life really made him turn into a straight savage. Fast forward about a year and a half later, this is when he robbed the wrong cameraman, which was Ray Money Visuals. After stealing his camera stuff in 2015, one day Lil Zay was on the block and he was shot in the chest after some hops slid through and let off some shots. But then while Lil Zay was in the hospital, police would come to his hospital room and arrest him. Turns out that Ray Money went to the police and reported him. And when Ray Money visuals took Lil Zay to court, Ray Money had a lot of evidence on Lil Zay that he stole his camera with text messages and other things like music videos to make him look like a bad person. The judge ended up sending him to juvenile life, which which means he wouldn't get out until he was 21 years of age. But they actually made a mistake on his paperwork and he actually got out early getting out at the age of 19. Lose knew he had to do something different and started focusing on the music more. This next incident would bring even more trauma and beef to Lose's life because on November 12, 2016, something would happen that would shock everybody. Shortly after midnight, an argument would break out in a three-level house in the 800 block of South Shore Drive. 16-year-old Elijah house didn't like how Ben and Harris aka 600 bike down was treating his sister so the two started arguing and a fight broke out then the mother of 16 year old Elijah house came down and broke up the fight pulling Elijah to the basement to calm him down 600 bike down then left the home and came back the mother saw him reach around her with a gun and shoot her son Elijah in the back when she tried to run he began shooting at her too the mother then heard him shoot her daughter a bony house who was four months pregnant with his unborn child. She was shot in the right breast and mouth. The sibling's mother then attempted to crawl up the steps, but 600 bite down was shot up five more times in the back, plus in the buttocks, thigh, and twice in the left breast. The mother then played dead the second time she was shot. At this point, the 16-year-old who he was fighting, Bennett Harris, who was shot in the leg, ran upstairs in the bathroom and hid, and went to hold the door closed, but 600 bite down forced his way in and shot him in the neck. His girlfriend of Boney Holmes and their unborn child died from their injuries, and her 16-year-old brother died too. 
but the mother actually survived and they were both Lil Zay's cousin and his aunt. He actually raps about it in a song that I don't think he ever released. But a situation would happen where a close gang set would turn on his set and become enemies with him. It was December 30th, 2016. Lil Dre from the TMC set hit up Ray Money visuals for a video to shoot. Ray Money thought that just cause Lil Dre knew somebody that he was close to, he could trust Lil Dre to meet up with him before he dropped a deposit. And Lil Dre at the time also had affiliation with 6300 and he was really close to Lil Zay Osama. It was around 1.54 p.m. and Ray Money Visuals met Lil Dre and another person in the 8200 block of South Angleside. When Ray Money got there, he walked into a building, walking in knowing something wasn't right. What happened next was a tussle broke out. Lil Dre from TMC pulled his gun, not knowing that Ray Money Visuals was armed too. Ray Money then let off some shots, killing Andre Lakers, aka Lil Dre. Ray Money was also hitting the hip too. This event really shows you the risk it takes to be a cameraman in Chicago. No one was arrested for this second incident. The first time Lil Zay was actually arrested as an adult was on May 4th, 2017 when he was 19 years of age. This time was because of a warrant and he was released the next day. Then he was arrested on September 20th, 2018. This time was for driving on a suspended license, not stopping at a stop sign, and criminal trespass to vehicles. He was released two days later for this. But on October 11th, 2018, BSC started beefing with TMC from the death of Lil Dre. And 6300 BSC would take out a well-loved TMC member. At 8.08 a.m., 22-year-old Charles Kellogg, aka Bam Two Times from TMC, was found laying on the sidewalk, shot in the head in the 1300 block of West 110th Street. Lil Zay disses this guy a lot in his music. But let's get to this cousin thing next. What I've been able to find, Lil Zay actually has a cousin he hates. He says the reasons for the beef is because his cousin is from the op set. But his cousin is actually from the same set, 6300, which is 6300 Jank South. He says the reason for the beef is because he really forgot about the hood and doesn't really show love no more. He even went to say Lil Zay is not from 6300 and he brought him in. But the beef is because of some side picking. It goes deeper than just what side you from. It's blood and people's lives in between this. He also was in the middle of a shootout when he was with wife and Lucci in Atlanta. But on September 29th, 2022, Lil Zay's music career would come to another halt because Lil Zay would order an Uber on that day and would leave his Glock 22 with a switch on the back of it in the back of the Uber. What's happening? I just got a call. What's happening? What's happening? Just put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. The police was called and most of this was caught on live. He is currently facing charges for this incident. Hopefully he gets out soon because his career is truly on the rise and collabing with Lil Durk and other artists just pushed his career to another height. My prayers and condolences go out to the families that lost their loved ones in this crazy story I just went over. But that'll be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed, stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.